Trigger warning. The content in this video will include topics around eating disorders that may be difficult for some people to confront or discuss. We asked young people if they know what an ED is and what they think causes them. We found that not many have an understanding of what an ED is or how they are caused. Here are some of our findings. Well, I'm not sure what they are. I know very brief information, but that's about it. If I got a chance to learn more, I'd be interested in doing so. I think EDs are when someone has difficulty eating too much or not enough or things you're not supposed to eat. I hate eating in front of other people. It's normal at dinner for me and my friends at school to not eat in front of each other. It's awkward. I've not really thought about it. I bet social media has a lot to do with it. We found that EDs are not spoken about when we talk about mental health and well-being. I didn't realise that there are lots of different reasons why somebody may develop an ED. There are no posters or resources in my school that talks about EDs. I believe one of my friends has an ED and I don't know what to do or say to help or support them. What is an ED? EDs are mental illnesses that involve someone having trouble with their eating, behaviours and emotions, using food to control the food to cope with feelings and other situations. Unhealthy eating behaviours may include eating too much or too little or worrying about your weight or body shape. With treatment, recovery is possible. What causes an ED? It's important to remember that EDs are not all about food, but about feelings. Anyone can develop an ED, regardless of their age, gender, or ethnic, or cultural background, and it is never the fault of the person experiencing it. There is no specific reason why it develops. It could be what's going on at school, home, but often people think it's down to social pressures and social media. What do you think? 40% of children and young people contact Childline around body image and eating. Young people aged 17 to 19 with EDs rose from 0.8% in 2017 to 12.5% in 2023. This is an 11.7% increase. 55% reported the increased time spent online worsened their symptoms. As a response, we have made banner pens, badges and posters as a way to get the information out there to as many young people as possible. What can I do to help? Ask twice. Are you okay? You are more likely to get an honest answer. Stop the negative talk. Talking badly about yourself or other people's look, weights, heights, appearances or eating habits can be damaging. Don't forget to look after yourself. Spend time with the people who truly care and respect you. Be kind to yourself and others. Educate yourself. Learn about signs and symptoms and services to not just help yourself, but others too if they are struggling. Perfection is a myth. Follow profiles that make you feel confident and unfollow the profiles that make you feel bad about yourself. 10 second rule. If it can't be fixed in 10 seconds, don't mention it. Talking to somebody and asking for help is one of the bravest things you can do. You can also reach out to any of the following free services. COOF, an online mental health and well-being support group, Beat Eating Disorders, supports information and resources for all ages about eating disorders. The Mix empowering young people under 25 to make informed choices about their well-being. NHS R-CAMS Eating Disorder Service, supporting children and young people with advice, support and treatment, with quick and easy self-referrals and no long waiting lists. If you or somebody else needs urgent help or in immediate danger, call 999. If you are looking for medical advice, contact your GP or call 111.